In this video, we're going to talk about the Ford Pinto and give you a little bit of background on the Ford Pinto controversy from the 1970s. So if we go back to the early 1970s and certainly the 1960s, the automobile industry was dominated by large cars. Uh, oftentimes we called some of these muscle cars. They were big cars with big engines and big gas tanks, um, but they did not get very good uh, gas mileage. They might get 10 or 12 miles to a gallon. That's okay. Um, in a, that was okay in a sense because uh, gasoline was inexpensive and um, and that's how it w went until 1973. Now in 1973 the OPEC nations, the oil producing exporting countries in the Middle East, uh, reduced their production of oil and um, stopped sending um, as much oil to various places of the world, including the United States, and that created a massive shortage or, or a shortage of gasoline um, in places like the United States. So if you, if a gas station had gas, um, then there would be lines of cars trying to fill up their tanks uh, because there was a gas shortage. And these lines would sometimes last hours. People um, might be on these lines for hours just to fill up their car with gas. And one of the results of this was fuel efficient cars, including uh, on the top, the Civic and the Corolla from Honda and Toyota, the Gremlin here from uh, American Motors and uh, the Volkswagen Rabbit. And then down in the bottom left is the Ford Pinto. All these, what all these cars had in common was they were small cars that weighed less. They had smaller engines and, um, and the idea was that they were fuel efficient and the Ford Pinto was one of those cars. The Ford Pinto uh, weighed about 2,000 pounds. Uh, it had a, an 89 horsepower engine, which was um, you know much smaller than, than certainly was on the, the, the previous uh, uh, cars that were in, in, the, in the market. But it got 24 miles to a gallon, which was considered a lot of uh, you know very, very good gas mileage. So uh, people who were trying to deal with the aftermath uh, of the of the gas, um, shortage, the gas crisis, who um, uh, now had options of buying cars that were more fuel efficient, could get better gas mileage and, and, uh, and be better on their, on their budget. So um, what was the controversy? Well, there were 29 uh, deaths due to explosions that uh, re these are happened when there was a rear end collision with the Pinto. You know, it's a much smaller car. The gas tank was in the back. It got hit in the back. Um, there was a risk of an explosion, and there were 29 deaths attributed to these kind of accidents, these kinds of um, collisions. And so the question is, should the government require Ford to spend money, in, in this case $13, on each car to make the Pinto safer? Uh, is that something that the, the government should do?